Rich. But, uh, hey, Martin, I got a question for you, bud. Who, who did you say took you home from jail? It was some random kid. I met him. I was walking home. I was walking home from Warren. Couldn't get home. And I was doing the hitchhiking thing because it was like an hour or a half hour away from my house. And I was driving home, and on the way home, there was some black dude that pulled over. He was smoking a blunt. He was a young kid. He's like, yo, bro, you need a ride? I was like, yeah. I got in. He drove me the last, like, I don't know, two miles. And I hit the blunt once. I got out. I thanked him, and I walked home. That seems legit. Okay. All right. Bye. You, you realize, like, when you go, when you get off on your rants and you're talking about stuff, your stories change, like, on everything. They don't change. That's exactly what I said. You can go back and watch the live stream on my, uh, on my live stream. I said well, the exact well, same thing. There's that. Uber was coming out that took to go that far for 10 bucks, and I'm just sitting there basically crying, asking God to help me. And, and some 19, 21, 21-year-old kid, he, I forget his name now, and it makes me feel horrible, but he goes to Champion Nazarene Church. You know that. He walks up to me and goes, man, I was, pr- I heard you over here asking for help. Um, and I didn't say anything, but I was praying that you would still be here once I was done doing my business. And he was getting his CCW. He showed me his weapon. It was nice. Um, but he, uh, it was a nine though. It wasn't a four. I said, get a 45. He's like, I like nine. Million. Anyways. Um, so, uh, he was praying, asking God if he could help me and if he should help me. And then God, I guess, affirmed it to him and he gave me a ride home. We talked about God the whole time on the way home um, and you know